More than 250 delegates met at the Universal Postal Union headquarters in Bern, Switzerland, on March the 26th and 27th, to discuss the challenges rising from the growth of global e-commerce. With online sales expected to reach $1.5 trillion this year, facilitating global cross-border e-commerce and making it trustworthy and safe is a priority for all stakeholders especially natural partners like postal services. From e-tailers, logistics, airlines, customs and border controls, payment uh, service providers, through to the last mile delivery and complete with return merchandise services. All related industries need to work together to ensure the free flow of items and availability of service to all citizens around the world. The postal network is an essential link in this global supply chain. According to the Chinese e-commerce giant Alibaba.com, the market has taken a new turn in recent years. Domestic e-commerce has really been a 10-year, 15-year phenomena. Cross-border e-commerce has really been a two or three or four-year phenomena. It's going to become uh, much bigger according to third-party estimates and it's going to start going both ways. Getting merchandise through customs as fast and safely as possible is key for cross-border e-commerce, says the head of the World Customs Organization. Today, customs and postal services are working together to move things forward. Nowadays, uh, connectivity is important, but connectivity does not end at one border. It should be connected uh, for other borders uh, because we are operating in well, a global trade supply chain. So this is what we are trying to establish. But of course, the development and evolution of e-commerce, the speed of that is as such that we are trying to chase and try to get a better um, well, uh, coordinated approach. And in that context, uh, it is very important to work with the economic operators and the postal office. So uh, that kind of a coordination and cooperation is what we need. E-commerce is also a challenge for developing countries. E-commerce is the business of the future. So you're either in or out. And for developing countries, if you will, for the international community actually, there's no choice, you have to be in. In order to obtain an efficient system of e-commerce services, you need high-quality IT networks, internet and mobile services. And in many developing countries, especially in the least developed ones, we're not there yet. Conga.com, a fast-growing two-year-old Nigerian e-retailer, has the metropolitan areas covered. But real growth can't happen without the help of postal services, says the head of the company. Conga in Nigeria has had to build a lot of logistics for itself. We've had to buy motorbikes and vans to deliver to people, and that's fine. But once we really want to start serving all of Nigeria, all of West Africa, there is no way a private company can do this alone we need to work with the postal, um, ent the postal entities. With online business expected to hit the $2 trillion mark by 2020, consumers, e-retailers and trade associations are calling for simpler and faster solutions. Postal services are determined to be part of the game and play their long-standing role as trade facilitators. The postal service's DNA is being transformed, it's mutating, and today genetically the postal service knows its new DNA. It knows how to do many things including logistics, financial services and e-services, and how to follow up on shipping. In fact, it has all the elements to meet this challenge, and so our reply to the question which this forum has raised has to be yes.